it's been a, a tremendous journey. It's been a pleasure to, to be part of it, part of the link, and part of the development and the growth of uh, interventional neuroradiology procedure, especially, especially with somebody like uh, Dr. Jacques Moret, who's a very good friend of mine and who's really a pioneer. He has introduced so many good ideas and so many ways of treating very difficult uh, problems in the brain that we are all very proud to be associated with him. And I'm proud to have been part of it over the years. And uh, if I had another 20 years, I would do it exactly the same. It's a good challenge to have. I think the first challenge was with Dr. Moray and myself and many other people working in this field was to prove the concept. And I think the proof, the concept has been established. We've, we've gone through some uh, learning curves and some uh, growth pains, so to speak. But now I think it's very well established that endovascular non-invasive procedures are here to stay. And they're actually an excellent alternative to open surgical procedure. That I think we have gotten out of the way. Now comes the challenge of how to educate the general population about their choices, which is very important. And also, just like you said, how to train new physicians, how to train, how to spread the expertise, how to train people to do things safely, how to train people not to get very excited about new technology, but rather to test it first. So it's a good challenge to have, and I think we should do it. We are uh, trying hard to spread uh, awareness about stroke, for instance, but also to train people, neurologists, neurosurgeons, radiologists, neuroradiologists, even at one point, I think cardiologists will end up be, be trained as well. But we have a challenge, but I think we're working hard on it, and it's a good challenge to have. We had to learn ourselves how to position it, how to talk to other physicians, how to talk to other disciplines, and how to convince our disciplines, other disciplines, of accepting what we do. And actually, I think we've won that battle. It was a battle. It was difficult for me. I remember 20 years ago, it was very difficult to stand up and talk about treating aneurysm with coils or what have you. But now, even the other disciplines have jumped on the bandwagon and want to do it. So that challenge has been won, I think. Now, how to integrate it inside the hospitals is also a challenge, but it's working. Uh, a lot of our colleagues in other disciplines are supportive. We uh, work collegiately with them, and we are, most of the, us are now part of multidisciplinary teams throughout mostly in the U.S., to a lesser extent in Europe and in Japan. But in the U.S., I can tell you, a lot of teams have become multidisciplinary, and it's a challenge, actually, that has been overcome, I think, in including other people and to feel that we are included in the decision-making process of how to treat the patient, along with the neurologist and the neurosurgeon. The new technology, the new computing power, the more, the increasing in computing power, the instantaneous rendering of three-dimensional effect, the 3D printing, it's a huge addition to our field. And I bet you in my lifetime, uh, one of our, my trainees will probably come out one day and use 3D printing to make a device that he can implant a few days later. Uh, individualized medicine, uh, t uh, individually tailored devices using 3D printing and other material, I think is here to stay and is very, very promising. I would think the, the biggest challenge is to train people, to train people to spend the time and we need people to train them. So we need train the trainer, so to speak. Um, relationship with industry is a big challenge, how to do it ethically how to continue to work with them, innovating and taking advantage of their technology without really succumb to the conflict of interest. That to me is a big challenge. How to make new physicians that are ethical and compassionate. These are really an untangible aspect of, the, of our discipline, but we must address it.